He's the tallest man on the radio. So sit right back and enjoy the show. Flying through the air like a ballistic missile. Here's your host, Ben Kissel. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Ben Kissel channel. I'm Ben Kissel. As always, joined by Jerry Aquino. What's up? And Kyle Plouffe. Ooh, all of us are slightly under the weather. Woo. I am not under, for the last, I am perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, you're perfect. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm kind of crushing it. Yeah. Over yep. both of you. I know, but today is Kyle Plouffe's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm a big boy now. 38 you years are. fun. I yeah. can't believe that. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, and you're his, so young. Mm -hmm. His sister gave him a new wrestling t-shirt. Yeah. Aww. Isn't that nice? The death of the American male. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Jerry can name one. I can, I yeah, th they're all Hulk Hogan's, right? <laughs> yep, they're all Hulk Hogan's, and they will yeah. have sex with your wife. <laughs> Yum. Right. Well, we have a bunch of stuff to get to today. <laughs> a little bit later on in the episode, we're going to have a toss-up. Matthew Perry, <gasps> the Ooh. people that sold him the deadly dose of ketamine, oh, they're no. getting got. And the question is, should they or shouldn't they? He's a full-grown man. He made his decisions. Yeah. Not everyone that gave it to him got got. Okay, we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And a whole bunch of other fun stories, including something about summer penis, which we'll talk about. <laughs> what? <laughs> we'll summer dick! In just one second. We'll get there in one second. But first, an update on the woman who stole the 11,000 cases of buffalo wings from the school district. Ah, yes. Chris Jones, he's a player for the Kansas City Chiefs, so he knows all about winning. Mm -hmm. He has offered to pay $1.5 million for the stolen wings in order to have the, set, in order to have the cafeteria employee uh, sentence removed, but mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to work because I don't wow. think the legal system works like that. Paying very much for very little. Indeed, it is. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. true. It's very little. Yeah. Oh, good for... I wish it would work. I, I think know. that sounds very reasonable. Yeah. He's basically like, how how much can we do this in fees? Right. Just, just take Which, care of this. Isn't that the issue? Yeah. Right? Why can't you just pay... Well, this goes into a bigger class situation, hierarchy, the yeah. whole, like, you can pay to get out of jail, but also... Can I just pay to get out of here? Yeah. Yeah, honestly. Okay, how you much know? how much can I throw at this to make it go away? I mean, know? this is still America at the end of the day, right? Money yeah. should buy your freedom. Money, yeah. Money should. <laughs> it's a game of monopoly, I guess. But it does suck usually when like really, really shitty rich people get away with stuff. But when it it's does. something like this, it's like, all right, we, we can all agree. There should be a vote. There hey, should be a vote. Do you think right. she should stay in there? Everyone yeah. would say no. For, exactly. For also, yeah. she you know she stole mostly flats. That's your flat chicken wing. Oh, I'm not a flats guy. I'm a drum guy. Drumstick so, all day. That's I what I am flats. too. Flats. What's wrong with the flats? You know the uh, thing. Uh, you gotta push such, them through. It's too such, much work. There's such good chicken in there, though. It's worth mm. it. It's hidden. It's like a little war zone to get it. You get, it you got is. the bone to get it, through. So it, it's, it's like you really earn it. Yeah, it's like the yeah. clit of chicken wings. Yeah. Oh my Honestly, god, it's in and, there, and it's also oh, it? worth it to get <laughs> really in there once you get in there. Come on. Mm, now I'm going to be looking for the clit on all my flats. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be great. So anyway, we'll see what happens with that. He says, this is crazy. That's too long. Although someone in our comment section did say, nine years, not enough. Yeah, get out of here. Come not on. enough for chicken wings. This guy's a three-time Super Bowl champion, so he knows all about wing money. And he says, oh. I'll pay for the wings she stole, and I'm going to get her free. So wow. We'll see if it works out. I hope so. I want to see her free. I want her to walk. I agree. And isn't she in Pittsburgh? Where's like Russell Wilson or someone from the Pittsburgh Steelers showing yeah. up? Yeah. I'm not sure. I believe that she was Chicago. Yeah. Oh. So, oh. you know, the Bears. Hey. They got no money. Caleb Williams? <laughs> he made 15 million in college. Caleb Williams, and this isn't a diss, but I don't think he's a chicken wing guy. No. <laughs> nail polish. <laughs> True. Most of the time when you wear nail polish, you don't want to fuck that up with a chicken wing. What yeah. are you talking about? I just did my claws to yesterday. And I, I don't see you eating a chicken wing. Right <laughs> I would, if you placed chicken wings in front of me right now, I would demolish them with my nails. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, that's fine. In fact, I'm better, I'm better prepared. Wow. Jerry's getting ready for her exciting trip to Las Vegas. Yes. That'll be great. Well, when you're in Las Vegas, look out for this new thing. It's called Summer Penis. No. No. You don't want that? No. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I just found out about it, and I wish I knew about it earlier. So You do? You do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So apparently some men, they say, oh, the warmer weather is fantastic. It gives me summer penis. What the hell is uh, It that? keeps you a little girthier. I guess so. When you're flaccid. Yes. And sweaty? Yes. And according to this article, it's a phenomenon. So it's like, oh, my God, aliens or summer penis. <laughs> like, so, ooh, the, the, the great unknown of the, of the Northwest <laughs> yeah. or summer penis. Yeah. So this is according to Dr. Chung Tang. They say summer penis is a term people use to describe the male penis as it seems bigger and fuller during the summertime. Mm. Well, why are they telling me now it's already, it's already fall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, the summer end. They're like, oh, I don't know if you noticed, for the last uh, couple of months, your dick probably looked a little bit bigger. Yeah, you know, my, my penis has been hiding up inside of me for the past couple of years. <laughs> when you... I'm going to drop a couple more pounds and be able to see it again, say, hey, what's up, Ralphus? Yeah. yeah. Right now, it's a long-distance relationship. It is. Yeah. It's a long-distance relationship. <laughs> oh, Zempic dick's probably a real thing, though. What maybe, is a Zempic maybe, dick? Yeah. Maybe it makes it thinner, thinner longer, <laughs> smarter. <laughs> Why do you guys have all of these terms in front of the word dick for you guys? I actually like, don't. There's, I've there's never... like there's like pool dick, right? What's pool that? Dick? What's when your when your dick shrinks? Oh, in the shrinkage. Water? Yeah. yeah. There you go. There's shrinkage pee pee. There's yeah. the yeah. there's summer dick. It's seasonal now. Our dicks are seasonal. They are. Well, <laughs> there's winter. Just dick. like allergies. There's, you yeah. should see. You should see what happens to a clit in a sauna. Oh my god. <laughs> They don't have. We don't have any of those terms. Is that a chicken wing between your legs? Yeah. Holy hell! You, you got to free that woman from prison. So, the doctor says it's not an official medical thing. It's just something people have noticed and talked about. What I didn't notice or talk about. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't sound like a medical concern. Yes. So apparently, it's it's you get more full, you get more size. Some men notice that their penis looks a little bit bigger, especially. When it's flaccid, which yeah. is, Jerry, you wouldn't know this, it's when it's soft. <laughs> soft. <laughs> yeah. No woman should ever know that. No matter how many penises she's enjoying, I think it's really rude for you to ever show your flaccid penis <laughs> well, to a female. It is. No, some women do disrespectful. Not, it is. Do not approach a woman. It's like how like a peacock would not approach a bird, like a female bird. <laughs> Without the full wingage to right. be like, look at me. Yeah, well, some peacocks don't drink whiskey all night. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. And then your cock pees in your bed. Mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty fantastic. <laughs> so why is this the case? It's because of an increased blood flow. It might feel a bit softer or more relaxed than usual. So save it for next year, boys. Yeah. And remember, get out there in the summer sun. And enjoy your summer penis. <laughs> and of course, fall, that's where the balls really get to hang. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they, they change colors. Yeah. They do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nice. From blue to slightly bluer. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? So exciting. But it's not going to make it any bigger. You're not going to actually get any length. So mm. it's just going to make, it's just going to give it its full potential. I was going to say, like, when, where are we noticing this? Are you noticing this while you're sitting in the toilet? Are you noticing while you're sitting at brunch <coughs> on a hot day? And you're like, I don't know, but for some reason, something feels a little bit more. Probably at brunch. I think this comes from the same uh, sphere of journalism that, uh, the, the whole bro job phenomenon came from. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Bro in my life. job? What's a bro job? A lot of people. Getting someone in construction work? A lot of people <laughs> say uh, guys who are best friends like to cuddle with each other and suck each other's cocks. And no, I, they don't. Th that was in the news for like years. <laughs> and I'm like, am I the only one that didn't do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no one wanted you to yeah, be. Yeah, I'm like, thing. come on. It's called, being a, it's called your boyfriend. Yes. Yeah, that is called your boyfriend. Which yeah. is fine. It's called your partner. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know me and Harry. We hang out. He gives me a bro job every now and again. Yeah. What is happening? It's just you know. young gays. Yeah. That's fine. Well, that's fun. That's, that's well, fun. good for them. I mean, honestly. Good for them. And whatever you do, don't tell Kyle, because he'll want to join in. Yeah. I know. He's not invited. Hurt my feelings. He's, well, he's not invited. Now he's 38, so he's going to turn a new leaf in his sexuality. <laughs> that's fun. Exciting. So apparently they say this is medical. They say when the body's hot, it naturally tries to cool down, and it sends blood everywhere, mm. I guess. So it goes blood everywhere, and then it, it ends up just in the, in the cock there. And it's really noticeable if you wear cotton boxers. Or shorts. Mm -hmm. or Do you shorts. feel the cotton expanding? Or nothing. Yep. You, really it also makes your hands, feet uh, also larger. Yeah. So you get bigger hands, bigger feet, bigger penis. This is reminding me of science. Oh, my God. Um, well, this... Like glassware. So basically, we expand with heat like glassware, and we shrink down with cold yes. like glassware. 
Is it evolutionary? Is it evolutionary as well? Because when I think of Brazilian man, first of all, the women, holy hell, the blood flow. My God, uh, the beautiful what? boobs, bu- bubs, bubs, yeah, bu- boobs and butts. Yeah, they're they're pretty. Yes, yes, that's blood flow. And yeah. for the Brazilian blood man, flow. I would assume they probably have a larger penis just over time. <laughs> it's very nice weather. Over time. Oh, you're talking climate wise. I'm talking evolution because they are constantly being uh, expanded by the heat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, and, and to further my scientific point, look at yes. the state of Florida. Mm. It's That's hot. That's a bad example. What does it look like? Huge cock. Yeah. Flaccid, though. Yeah, flaccid. So it is growing. So rude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also makes sense for Florida. Also, quick update here when it comes to the Olympics. No, we're not going to talk about Ray Gunn. She did a bad job. Oh, <laughs> um, I got a bunch of DMs. Dog fucker. You know the guy who raped all the dogs? Yeah. yeah. Australian. Ah. They wanted Australian. me to know. Australian. The talent. Oh, God. The talent. Don't make me aware of me doing accents, because then they get bad. <laughs> Very good. Um, yes, a bunch of people from the UK were like, he's not ours. He is Australian, so I have to point that out. Okay. okay. But when it comes to the Olympics, Stephen Van Veldy, that was the kid who raped that 12, the man who raped that 12-year-old. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, he cried. So much. I know. He did a press conference. Yeah, he was like, you know what? You guys were pretty fucking mean to me this whole time, and I'm not really sure why. (laughs) He got so sad about it. He said, I did something wrong 10 years ago. You know? You know? This is different, you know? And then he says, I have to accept that. But hurting people around me, whether it's my playing partner, Matthew Immers, (gasps) my wife, my child, that just goes too far. Wow. Did anyone mention any of them? Wait, he has a child now? Yes, he's got a child yeah, he's and a wife. with child. I thought pedophiles are, are not allowed to have kids. Buddy, that's America. Oh. I don't even know. If that's, I think, two states. Oh. I think Louisiana just passed the castration <laughs> law as well. Whoa. But he was given a press conference because they made it to the round of 16 in their little volleyball thing. And he was like, just, he was so mad about people booing him. And then he said, I'm not the same person I was 10 years ago. I haven't even raped a 12-year-old in 10 years. Yeah. I yeah. kind of feel like pedophilia is a way of life for them. Like, it's not a thing. It's not a, a decision you made one time. We simply don't know. Mm. But that is our Olympic update. <laughs> that was fun. That's a good We Olympic did a great job. <laughs> So, so the Olympics all around went pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think a bunch of people got staph infections. And yeah, then yeah. Didn't, did they end up swimming in the Poopton Lake? They did swim in the Cyan River. Yes, and yes. The, Yeah, that was full of fecal matter. Cool, cool. Um, the men won. Women won. Was yeah. Cool. USA won. There were problems with that. Mm, yeah. Um, some, yeah. Some lady was accused of not being a lady because she won too hard. Yeah, that's um, right. What was that? A man, a manual, a manual. Iman, Iman, Iman. But it's spelled I man. Oh. Yes, All right, yes. not just a clever name, perhaps. <laughs> we simply don't know. That's they. Then people, people were upset. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, I ain't no data scientist. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. Just go and just try to win. Well, it's just nice to see that the try Olympics chaos is keeping up with the chaos of the rest of the world. I agree. Twenty twenty four bullshit. Yeah. It really was. It really Paris really was a microcosm of just what the whole world is discussing right now. It really yeah. is. And but, it mostly it involves swimming and shit. Yeah, totally. <laughs> they took a bronze medal away from a U.S. Uh, Athlete too. I saw that. Yeah. Why? Uh, they they looked at the tape and realized that they messed up on the calculations. They do instant fucking replays. <gasps> yeah. So they. Oh my god. It was like days after the fact. They're like, oh, by the way, you didn't actually win that, so give it back. Oh, funny story. I already That's bonded for a PS Five. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, like what? Also, those those Paris fucking medals. Did you see people wearing them, and all of a sudden they were starting to warp already? They're trash. Oh my god. Really? Yeah, they're garbage. Oh, wow. well, at least maybe put some chocolate inside it, so, like mm. unwrap it. Oh, a... my God. You tell me I get a Kinder Egg if I win this sharpshooting contest? <laughs> so sick. I love that. The uh, sharpshooting contest, you'd get a gun made of chocolate. Mm. Oh, that would be good. Yeah. I want to eat it handle first, baby. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I don't know. That was another thing with the Olympics, the sharpshooter who didn't use any oh, yeah. uh, pair of prophylactics. <laughs> <laughs> Prophylactic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick. Okay. What is that word again? Uh, glasses. Oh. Okay. Ah, yes. I was Protective going... eyewear. Yes, not the dude with the hand in his pocket. <laughs> yes, he was. Yes. He was Alanis Morissette. <laughs> yeah. The whole time. He was hand giving up peace so, sign. Yeah, he looked like he got lost and ended up at the Olympics and was like, he "Yeah, really I guess did. I'll play today. Yeah. Why not?" Yes, I do like everyone being like, I don't think he was supposed to do this on the world stage because he's obviously an assassin. Yeah, <laughs> but, right, yeah, yeah. Anyway. 
All right. Well, lastly, before we get to our Matthew Perry conversation, which everyone's hemming and hawing about. Hemming and they're like, oh, we can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about Matthew Perry. Yeah. I also can't wait. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) There's a dude, and he's a big fat fucking loser. His name is David Carpenter. He's 48. He shot his dad, and his (gasps) dad was 74 because his dad told him that he had stinky feet, and then he shot him. Wow. That's ridiculous. Isn't that ridiculous? This is another example of like, be careful who you birth because some of these kids are just duds. Be yeah. careful who you birth, people. Not that the dad birthed the kid, but he definitely raised the kid. Yeah. Yeah. So the, it was in Iowa. It was this, is this a drug-related thing? Alcohol? Violent nope. situation? Maybe alcohol. I don't think the guy was on drugs. He's too fat to be on meth. We'll show a picture of him here. He's six feet tall. He's 300 pounds. And uh, he called 911 and stated that he had just shot his father, William, in the face. Oh. And so if you're 911, you say, well, thank you for that detail. My God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good to know. Confirming this is a 911 call that should be made. Absolutely. But however, the father, William, he survived. So this kid no. can't even kill what? his own fucking father. He just uh, shot his oh. nose off? So I he doesn't have to smell him anymore? That would be fantastic. Wow. Oh. Yep. Man, that he reminds me. his nose. <laughs> Saigon whore. Yeah. Yep. That's some dirty work. <laughs> yep. yep. Chris Farley's last movie. Mm. Speaking of drug overdoses. Yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. Mm. He died. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. He did R. die. R. If I'm that upset about my son smelling like complete shit and he pulls out a gun and puts it to my face, I'm going to be like, thank Christ. I've been waiting for this day. Thank yeah. you. Oh yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Your boy's not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. I smell I smell his boy every time I get to hold him. Oh, yeah. Good smelling boy. Absolutely. That's a good smelling kid. Yeah. That's yeah. A, even with all the diaper stuff, huh? <laughs> yes. Babies. Even still. Yeah, apparently he shat on me. When he shat in my hand, but yes. I didn't notice. I mean, it was in his diaper. Yeah, oh, it wasn't okay. on. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I, I just pictured you like cupping your hands. <laughs> me holding it. Like, what's yeah. all this? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know your kid was German. Yeah. <laughs> my God, I didn't know they, I, the chocolate was flowing. So anyway, so they were like, yeah, I shot my dad in his face. And it was the argument over stinky feet. And it escalated when David, that's the son, he grabbed his gun from his bedroom and he shot William in said face. Then William told him that his feet stink again and the heated argument continued. And then um, then the guy made a comment about shooting him. So apparently even after the dad was shot, he was like, your feet still stink. <laughs> <laughs> So that's crazy. Like, I got a bullet in my face yeah, and this is still worse. Shoot, <laughs> shoot me all you want. It's not going to take away the horrifying smell that is your feet. Yep. In fact, can you just get my nose this time? <laughs> Please, God almighty. And so uh, he said it was an accidental shooting because he said he pointed the, the gun at his father's face and then accidentally pulled the trigger. Yeah. Yeah, they're all accidental when they're pointing directly. And when you go to get it and then you, sh- you point it and then you accidentally shoot it. Yeah. He yeah. was like, trick or treat, smell my feet. And he's like, trick. And then the Bam. gun went off. Yeah. Nice. I don't even think kids are allowed to say that anymore. No. I, Pathetic. Too offensive. It's too offensive. Yep. The smell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even dress up as Adolf Hitler anymore. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. No. What's this world coming to? Mm. Yeah, I really treat. want to be a fly on the wall in that argument, though. I just want to hear everything the dad said post getting shot in the face. Oh, these dysfunctional family stories are incredible. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> yeah. amazing. At the time of the shooting, there were two children in the living room watching t- television. Wow. So that's kind of exciting. And I hope they were watching live PD, and they're yeah. like, where are those cops going? <laughs> oh, this looks like our house. Looks, looks like Grampy's house. Knock, 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 knock. So uh, David, he was arrested for attempted murder and child endangerment. He's in the county jail. Mm. So anyway, I feel bad for the person that's staying with him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, seriously. My he God. doesn't he does not sound like a safe person to have kids around. I'm glad when he's I, off the off the streets. When I when I did my twenty four hours in the hard times in New York City in the tombs. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. For helping that little person to return style. Oh, a public com- uh, really? that I did pay. Yeah. Anyway, long story short, I had a warrant. Um, for like the most cute crime ever. Yeah, that's the, adorable. Drinking on the steps when you're twenty eight. Yeah. Yeah. Just having a twisted tea. Yeah, it was fun. I was. I had a. I had a Coors Light. Oh wow! And the cop wow. said, "You can finish it." <laughs> Thanks. Anyway. It did that to me in New York City too. I was drinking in my sister's doorway, and uh, um, the McKibben Lofts. And the cop was like, "Hey, I, I got a question. Come out That's here." That's what they did to me. They lured wow. me out. And I was like, "What's going on?" They're like, uh, "You're getting a ticket right now." Wow! But I thought you should fucking be, scumbags. Dude, you should be able to drink on the fucking steps because yeah. you pay yeah. so much damn rent. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Uh, anyway, but when I did that, 
there was a dude in there and his feet had seen it was Vietnam. Yeah. Ugh. His toes were so nasty. They had toes on side in <laughs> like they had toes in them. Ugh. Ugh. And that smell, there is something about a foot funk. Yeah. You know, when yeah. they're living together and the dad is just like, I worked my ass off and you're such a fucking loser. Right. My first college yeah. roommate, it, I got put in halfway through the year. And once I went in, uh, all the kids were like in the, our dorm. They oh, were like, oh, you're a smelly kid. And I was oh, like, that Fuck. sucks. Because he hadn't shown up yet. And then within a day, I was like, I, I was calling my mom at home, like crying, being like, this kid smells so bad. Oh, my mom's like, no man. fucking way. My aunt and my mom showed up, opened the door, and my aunt immediately threw up. Uh, your aunt has a It's way. a different aunt. It's a different aunt. <laughs> different aunts. Yeah. Are you Fragile G- aunts in the Plouffe family. No, the, it was so disgusting. Yeah. You might be related to Jeff Goldblum, glu- Jeff Goldblum from The Fly. <laughs> That's <I'm> true. Dead. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, I mean, I have a sensitive nose too. I have a sensitive sense of smell, so yeah. like bad smells really bother me. They make me very like I'm just like, oh god. I, sometimes I walk by someone that I'm just like, nope, they didn't shower. Yeah, something so preventable. Yeah, right. it's brutal. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Oh my lord. Put that man in solitary confinement. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Somebody little... hose that man down. Oh right. Well, speaking of dressing as Adolf Hitler, just <laughs> lastly, there yeah. was a there was a teen, and this story is horrible. It takes place in Turkey. Oh, a teen dressed as a not Nazi clad video game character. He live streamed a mass stabbing outside of Turkish mosque. <gasps> so that's not good. No, that's not. So there's really nothing funny to mind there. No. No. He just did no. a he he did a stabbing. It's just these kids get to live stream everything now. Yeah, they yeah. got to do something different. It's pretty bizarre. So uh, he was dressed in, uh, he just, he's such a fucking nerd. We'll show this picture of him. But he's got his little hat on and he's got his little skeleton face mask Aww. on. Scary. And the I worst. I have that bandana. It's uh. cool. It's cool when you wear it. It is cool when I wear it. It's usually just around Halloween. There's skull in it. It has fangs on the teeth. It's. Aww. And I'm not stabbing anyone on a live stream. No. Yeah. Also, in the lamest possible way, he's wearing safety goggles. Yeah. He's doing a yeah. mass stabbing, and he put fucking safety goggles on, like he's uh, what was the name of the guy from Tool Time, Home Improvement? Oh yeah, uh, Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Yeah, but what was the other guy that was that was the, Al Borland? Al Borland. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, they were gonna call him Glenn. That's true. Oh wow, it's gonna be Glenn, but they went with Al instead. So a lot of people were upset. Because uh, the clip was going on, and they're like, oh. stop doing that. Yeah. And then he was detained. Uh, he had a bulletproof vest on, and many victims appeared to be elderly men, and he attacked him from behind. Oh, what, what a, a fucking bitch. coward. Literally stabbed in the back. What a bitch. What a you all know what that's like. Any, any updates on Ellen Greenberg, by the way? Uh, no, I still hold on to um, my theory. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, she did not stab herself in the back. Yeah, okay. that's a yeah. pretty solid guess. As we can see, this guy did the same thing to people, and they, they caught him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he was wearing a Nazi SS black sun symbol, and it's been co-opted by the far, wi- far right. Far yes. white. Far white. Still works. Supremacy. Yeah. <laughs> and he had an axe on his wristband, and apparently that has something to do with it. I'm so sick of these white supremacists taking stuff that's cool. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Like Thor? You know, apparently yeah. the Thor stuff? Apparently that's racist now. I actually just met really? a few days ago a black white supremacist, and I know that sounds hacky, like I'm ripping it off from uh, Dave Chappelle, but literally this dude yeah. was like a biker, and yeah. I was like, oh, that bike looks cool. He's like, let me show you. And he had like SS paraphernalia, and his hat, his uh, helmet was like the Nazi helmet with the spike on top, and I was like, oh. Wow. Wow. He's like, yeah, people don't fuck with you when you have this shit on. I was hmm. like... You know what? Uh, you, because you're black and this is insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In a strange way, I kind of like him. <laughs> you know, I just feel like I'm, I'm getting the respect I deserve. <laughs> yeah, German. You know? I guess. Yeah. Sure. It was very weird. That and he was sure. just out in public, not giving a fuck at all about it. That's so strange. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do think you're allowed to, like, you know, you can punch them or something like that, but really they're just so sad and miserable. It's just, yeah. let them kind of just live just, their own horrible just lives. Trying yeah. to convince themselves of something yeah. delusional. Right. He was no. a very nice guy. Well, yeah, you're white. He sounds yeah. lovely. <laughs> you're not, he just starts Blue beating eyes. the shit out of black yeah, people. Yeah, right. you're not just white, you're Bostonian. Yeah. He yeah. did immediately start talking about Trump to me, and I was like, hmm. <laughs> oh, I got He's like, you get it. And then it slowly went into, oh, let me show you all this Nazi stuff on my bike. Nice. <laughs> Within wow. like twenty minutes. Oh wow! Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Well, you look. You know, it's because it he wouldn't say that to me. 
Probably not. Yeah. No, he might not like you. He probably wouldn't talk Ooh. to me. No, he might yeah. not. Mm. Yeah. You really missed out on another good man. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get to the biggest story of today. Yes. Matthew Perry, RIP, gone too soon. Too soon. Found in the bottom of a hot tub. Oh. Not right. Of course, one of the more lovable Friends characters. Honestly. Wasn't yeah. a huge fan of the show Friends. I thought it was a little twee. I liked it. My my older brother's obsessed with it. We, I mean, we just grew up uh, really enjoying sitcoms and that kind of awesome right. comedy. And Chandler was such a big part of the way we joked around with each other. We really liked the... Well, Chandler Bing. I mm. think, yeah. Wasn't he considered the funny one? He was the funny one. Absolutely. And then you had Joey, who I was kind of a fan of, still alive. Yes. Everyone else... Everyone else is still alive. Still alive. Yeah. So... Ketamine, that was the drug of choice for Matthew Perry. That's crazy. Because of this, obviously because of the overdose, the ketamine queen of Los Angeles. There's a ketamine queen? Yes, and she has now been arrested. Ooh. And if I could have given her some advice, I'd been like, cut out the ketamine part. Yeah. Just be the queen of Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. The ketamine queen kind of gives you away. Yeah. Jasmine Sanga, 41 years old, earned herself the notorious nickname for selling ketamine and meth. Oh. Wow. Which I think, isn't meth worse than ketamine? Yes. yes it is. I don't really know. I, is ketamine, that's where you get your K-hole. Yes. That's where you can fall into a K-hole. And that's bad, right? That's oh, good it's old, awful. Yeah, it's good old horse tranquilizer. Yeah. Okay, and that you've had that experience? A few times in high school, yeah. Ooh, brutal. Yeah, I did ketamine before I did cocaine, and that was stupid. That's wow. wild. Yeah, that's in high school, it was around wild. everywhere. You huh. jumped all around. That's like dunking before you do a layup. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. And you just get stuck and you hear everything going on around you, but you're so dissociated. You're just, you can't move. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like a sleep apnea or a sleep uh, paralysis. paralysis. It is. Yeah, that's yeah. literally, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oof. Anyway, so she was selling ketamine and meth right here in North Hollywood. Whoa. North Hollywood. Yeah. Jerry, you may have tried some of her goods. Ooh. No, I have not. <laughs> she had a stash house. I live in Burbank. Oh. Oh, oh you very think better than us. You might know I, some white supremacists. Yeah. <laughs> when I think of Burbank, all yeah. I think is like, "Oh, I've got some letters to send Leno." Yeah. Oh, right. Like, Cause, it's yeah, cuz lovers, yeah. It's the Harry Krusty wedding. <laughs> Oh. Deb Harry and Dick Krusty are getting married. That's a stupid last name for these two fuckheads. Have you yeah, seen it sure is. <laughs> Fucking Leno. Anyway, so going back to 2019, that's how long she's had this stash house. She continued to peddle the drugs and was busted March 19th for selling meth, but that was in an unrelated case. She had been out on a $100,000 bond, but now she's being wrapped up in the uh, Matthew Perry investigation. Wow. This is according to law enforcement. This is according to the indictment, rather. Store, this is what she would do. Store, package, and distribute nar narcotics, including providing ketamine to a co-conspirator. <gasps> and that per person was named Eric. Oh, a co-conspirator. A co-conspirator. What is that? It's like a co-packer. Not like a coke spirator. Right. Sounds like a <laughs> no, it's just like someone else who's like, here, you take this now. You take this now. A co-conspirator. So, co-conspirator. So, so they were, were they selling They were drugs conspiring together. together. It's they like were, a co-star. It's like a tag team. Conspirators. Yeah, it's like, it's like <laughs> yeah, Phoebe and Monica. Yeah. Co-stars. Yeah. So they were working together. They were partners. And yes. they had a goal to make people laugh. Yeah. But, but it, this was selling drugs. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, gotcha. maybe, and do you laugh on ketamine? Is it a funny drug? You can. But it's, you don't you don't think of like getting the giggles from I, ketamine. You know, I got the ketamine giggles. Oh. You might find yourself with some giggles at some point, but, yeah. but I'm sure they fade away. The very beginning, the very end. I've only I've only tried it like once. So yeah, it was like oh. the middle part. I mean, I've done every single most drugs under the sun, but what? not ketamine. Wow. So anyway, so she was providing ketamine to co-conspirator Eric Fleming, so that the co-conspirator Fleming could sell to Matthew Perry. Wow. So Fleming was like, I got this guy in the line. You might know him as Chandler Bing. Mm -hmm. Give me the drugs. I'm going to go give them to MP Matthew Perry. Yep. So because of that, her, her home was raided. The Fed seized 79 bottles 
of liquid ketamine mm. and close to 2,000 meth pills. Wow. wow. She's a full-fledged business. She really was. My goodness. Oh. So if our North Hollywood gay friends are like really cranky the next few weeks, we know why. That makes Their sense. Their supply's gone. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it ain't right. It ain't right what they've done. <laughs> the snug is dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Or the bullet. Sorry. I always get the yeah, bullet is going to be dry. <laughs> the snug is the whiskey bar. The bullet is the yeah. gay bar. But they yeah. always sound like they should be I went, I went to the bullet That's with my so brother-in-law. That's true. That's yeah. hilarious. I never thought of that. I'm going to go get snug. fucked at the bullet. No, it's like I want to go suck some dick at the snug. No, well, you want to <laughs> yeah. go get fucked at the bullet and then go snug. <laughs> so... Uh, the, so she has been. She has also been charged alongside Dr. Salvador uh. and Dr. Mark Chavez, Perry's personal assistant, and also Perry's personal assistant, Kenneth Iwamza. Oh, so there's yeah. a bunch of people going down. So Oof. basically, uh, Fleming, Iwamza, and Chavez have all taken plea deals. Sagna. That's the main gal. That's your queen That's pin. The queen. Yes. Is also charged in a new indictment for her role in August 19th ketamine overdose of Cody McLowry, an Alaskan native, and to Kyle's point, also a member of the LGBT community right here in North Hollywood. Oh. Wow. Damn. Yes. So Sanga provided Fleming with a sample of ketamine in an unmarked glass. They gave it to Perry. That's what the indictment says. The next day, Fleming went back to the house, picked up 25 vials. So Perry was like, I don't mind that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good Chandler. Bing! Yeah, yeah. He was like, I'm, I'm going to need I'm gonna need more of those. Right. It's like when you get like a slice of pizza, and then you're like, this is pretty good. I'll take a whole pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could I be any more dissociated? Oh, my God. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Is there a duck over there? Did I adopt a duck? They really did that on the show. They yeah. really did. So just over a week after that, Fleming picked up $6,000 in cash from Perry to go pay the queen of crystal or of crystal methamphetamine yeah. and ketamine. They also threw in a complimentary ketamine lollipop. Oh, it's like what? it's a little sucker. Yeah. And it's a ketamine lollipop, which I don't know. That's wild. So yeah. there's like slow release ketamine, just kind of just, go, and you're just sucking away. Yes. Sucking we had away. those in Weymouth, Massachusetts. You had those in yeah. Weymouth. Yeah. I have never heard of these. I thought the only things that came in edibles were marijuana things. No. Yeah. They had, uh, yeah, heroin and ketamine lollipops. Wow. I only tried the uh, ketamine ones. Yeah. How many That's... licks does it take to get to the center of a heroin lollipop? Overdose. <laughs> Oh, One, right. two, dead. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So they dropped off the goods at the house. And then that's where Iwamza, that's the assistant, mm -hmm. administered six shots Oof. to Perry. So that is probably the final dose. So they continued to give Perry at least six do Well, I'm sorry. That was not the final dose. But they continued to give Perry at least six doses a day. October twenty fifth, October twenty sixth, and October twenty seventh. Yeah. Before administering the final three doses, October twenty eighth. How the hell did he make it to the pool? Administering doses makes it sound like they are literally injecting him. I with think it. They, that's are. they are. Yeah. Oh, so, they are. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they're, he's. It's personal trips, and they're doing the whole. Why does he not <coughs> do it himself? Well, it's his living assistant that's doing it for him. He's an actor. So they literally have no discernible talents. <laughs> he couldn't even inject himself. So he couldn't even inject wow. himself with the goods. That's insane. He was having yep. someone else do it. So then I guess that is why it gets all hairy. And then they're like, well, was he killed? Mm. Or was he was he suicided by proxy? Well, or... that's, that I actually kind of understand. The one thing is, again, he made his own de decisions. Yeah. He's yeah. the one who got the drugs. I think he was going to find these drugs no matter where he yeah. went. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if I necessarily... Well, what happened with Mac Miller? Did they arrest the people that, that gave him the drugs? The same people that just arrested all these people are the ones that went after Mac Miller's people. So yeah, uh, the guy who delivered oh. the drugs to him didn't even make them. That guy got 11 years. Wow. Oh my God. But there's like three or four other people that got arrested as well, and I believe they're still going through, or they got like bigger sentences. Right. Um, but yeah. But when does personal responsibility come into it? Yeah. Yeah. But then again, it is kind of strange that he wasn't injecting himself. 
If I was Matthew Perry, I would say, I got this. I'm going to take this on myself. I got this. Yeah. It's a little selfish. The reason he's not doing it himself is because he'll, he'll be too dissociated by the time six get to his like blood or whatever. Oh. Six hits get to his blood. So he wants somebody else to do it so he can get really fucked up. That's fucking crazy. That's, that's how crazy. bad it is. And that's how oh annoying it is God. now that he went on the news all the time was like, I'm sober. I don't know why anybody thinks I'm not sober. It's like, dude. That was the saddest part. Come on, man. Oh, man. And now he just fucked over all of his friends. Or friends. Well, associates, yeah, business exactly. partners. I yeah. Suppose. Yeah, that's sad. It is. So, October 25th, Sangna sent, a man, uh, sent Fleming a message asking if he'd be purchasing more of the drug because she's like, I got myself a real guy here yeah. who really yeah. needs this stuff. Six grand one day. Yes. Jesus. She referred to Fleming as the scientist and as, no, I'm sorry. She referred to the person that was making the drugs as, quote, the scientist and, quote, the master chef, and said that they would be out of town. So she's like, my guy who cooks this stuff up, he's going to be going making lollipops in Seattle. They're always going out of town. <laughs> They're always going out of town. So if you want some, you got to let me know now. we gotta, right. you know, we got to bake the uh, cookies yeah. right. right here. So following Perry's death, Sangna told Fleming to delete their messages. Uh -huh. But, of course, the cops are, you can, you can find anything, basically. Yeah, yeah. So, um... She also changed the messaging app, setting to automatically delete her messages. That's according to the allegations. Wow. These are dr dumb drug dealers, too, because there are plenty of apps that are encrypted and can't be looked at by the police. And they really did. We'll show this. <laughs> How I know? I don't know. <laughs> we'll show this photo as well. They really did lay it out. They said. He was like, they did it all wrong. Everything. Man. Yeah. You got to go. You got to go snail mail. <laughs> Snail mail, Pony oh, Express. Pony Express. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're gonna tangibly like it's cool. Yeah, right. You know, like written letters, burn it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You gotta go Columbo. Mm. So literally in the text message, they're like, and they did this all through PayPal, by the way. Oh my, they're doing Not everything PayPal. all wrong. Oh my. Yeah, they didn't God. even use cash. Oh they were my like, God. the late. I Not guess even when, Cash App. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I guess when you're on ketamine, you're kind of lazy. Right. Yeah. But like literally go to the bank and pull it out and be like, nephew's having another birthday. <laughs> Needs another bouncy house. Right. It's another one. <laughs> Not even the dumbness of having your name attached to the sender and the receiver. It gets taxed at the end of the year. PayPal. Oh my God. So it's like, dude, what? <sighs> Everyone's so, fucking up. Wow. They really are. So this is the first text and we'll show this on the screen. $958,000 PayPal to usual. Then they show the receipt. Thank you. And then the text says, I think you'll, I think you'll like these. But remember, they're double strength. Oh. Okay. Wow. And then they say, I'll send you the label when I get home so you know the dosage. So they're literally like, when he dies, just remember, they're double strength. Oh. Just remember, don't. So they're. This whole, this whole story is blowing my mind. I didn't realize it was so involved, such a group effort to, I guess, kind of kill Matthew Perry. It's not easy to kill the king. Oh, man. <laughs> not easy to kill the bang. It's sadder and sadder. So the indictment also alleges, quote, within days of receiving this text, defendant Sanga confirmed that ketamine can kill by conducting a, this is so stupid, confirmed that ketamine can kill by conducting a Google search. The Google search literally says, quote, can ketamine be listed as a cause of question mark? Oh, so they were man. like, no, I don't, that doesn't mean I was. Yeah, so that. that doesn't mean death. It was going to mean love. Can ketamine be the cause of love? <laughs> wow. Can ketamine be the cause of hunger? It, I suppose not. <laughs> yeah. Can it be? No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, my God. Oh, so she man, is a, what a mess. She's 41. She now faces, to, there is a picture of her as well. Wow. We'll show that. Uh, she faces a minimum of 10 years behind bars and a maximum of life in prison. Wow. So, damn. my well, God. I mean, it really didn't help that she did so much bullshit cover-up. And Like, lazy cover-up, yeah. Don't forget to delete the messages. Don't forget. Uh, is she's writing Actually, that in a message. Send that in invisible ink so that the cops don't see it. <laughs> Honestly, invisible ink, that's the way to go. Yeah. Use tangible invisible ink. Yeah. My God. So anyway, Matthew Perry is dead. This is a picture of all of the drugs that he had in his house. Wow. That is a full fucking pharmacy. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was the amount that was found in Jasmine Sanga's North Hollywood yeah, home. She, she was the business, mm. the business woman. Yeah, she had a hot plate. With uh, cocaine on it there. Wow. For her, for her science project. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> yes. Really wasn't that nice of an apartment. She was paying 3100 a month. 
But she was just yeah. saving it all. I guess she was saving money. Yeah. Just a two bedroom, 1,300 square feet. Hey. Interesting. All that the was... cash was just under her mattress. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. So, what we know so far five people charged for the fatal drug overdose of Matthew Perry. They've all been named. They say Perry fell back into addiction in the fall of 2023. And it was between Aww. September and October of 2023 when these uh, schmucks gave uh, Perry 70 vials. 70 Fucking vials. 70. Of Ooh. ketamine. So I, I, now I, the more I think about it, they, could, they shouldn't have done that. Yeah, they shouldn't have done that. Because, okay, what good is a dead customer to you? Well, that's a good point. But then also we do have to remember, they talk about the power, which I think all that shit's fucking bullshit. But anyway, I don't know how much power Matthew Perry had, but I do think maybe he was like, give it to me. Yeah. He was like, okay, fucking Christ, Matthew yeah. wants his medicine. Yeah, yeah. So there may have been some of that as well. I think that's why they were trying to hurry it up, being like, our guy's going out of town, you better do it now, so that they could make a big cash in and make it worth their last, uh, and, you know. Right, and is it possible that he was like, all right, guys, I'm doing this September to October when I have my... Winter penis or fall penis. Right, right. We, um, there's no need to whip that out. No need to whip that out. Yeah. And then I'll go go sober again. Go clean again. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is the most, that's what they say, it's the most dangerous thing. Mm-hmm. It's like when you relapse, you're just like, let me get back, get back to it, and then I'll stop again. But it's like, at yeah. some point, yeah. your heart's going to stop instead. Mm. Oh. So Perry's death has been ruled an accidental overdose, but... I don't know how that plays into the fact that the five people are arrested. Wow. Yeah, I was going to ask, what are the charges for that anyway? It was just like, just... Well, she she is facing a bunch of stuff again in 10 years. Okay, yeah, she did a lot. Yep. She, is, she had a lot going on. This is what the family said, Matthew Perry's family. They say, we are still heartbroken by Matthew's death, but it has helped to know law enforcement has taken his case very seriously. We look forward to justice taking its course. But again... It is indeed, at the end of the day, Matthew Perry's fault mm. as well. Oh. But it's sad. Such a tragedy. Such a tragedy. Such but the oh, nice thing man. is, you can still check out all the Friends episodes on Peacock. Yeah. <laughs> or or if you know my brother, he has like a bunch of the seasons. He has all of the seasons. Oh. The full set. So there you go. So if you know a, a Jerry Aquino too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I take it's, it. He's actually Jero Aquino. Oh, cool. Oh, cool guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take it back. I don't feel too bad for these people anymore. Uh-oh. Uh oh. One doctor wrote in a text message, I wonder how much this moron will pay. Whoa. Whoa. And the, the other one said, let's find out. Not wow. nice. So fuck these people. Not All right. Fucking nice. Ploof come in with the truth. There are enough mm-hmm. nice drug dealers out there that don't have to be, uh, you know. All in it for the money. Well, they, yeah. <laughs> they didn't show Mr. Perry any respect at all. Exactly. They did not. Wow. You know, there are, I, I know there, there are some drug dealers out there that they're like, hey, buddy, this is uh, the third time I've been here this week. What's, uh, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> they just trying to look out for you. Come on, guys. God. In one instance, the actor paid $2,000 for a vial of ketamine that cost uh, $12. What? So that's pretty good markup right there. Oh, my God. And well, he, he was just, he was k holed out, not thinking at all. He paid them 55 grand in cash <laughs> two months before his death. Oh, wow. my goodness. Yeah. Well, he was way overpaying. So that's, I mean, that's, as far as drug dealers go, there's still some morality that's supposed to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Going over on. charges. What happened to famous. the good guys in drug dealing? Yeah. Well, R.I.P. Matthew Perry. And if anyone is struggling with addiction and drugs out there, please be careful and take care of yourself. Yeah. And yes. it's brutal, and it's nasty, and it's not fun, and you end up dead in your hot tub if you're lucky. Yeah. Most yeah. of the time, you just end up dead on the street somewhere. Yeah, at least yeah. he had a nice view. He had a really nice hot oh, I mean, tub. Just, until the end. Until he well, became a yeah. human soup. <laughs> yeah. But I'm also wondering when the... when uh, the Remember when the news first broke, the assistant, this uh, whatever guy's name is, he called the police and be like, oh, Matthew's down there. But he must have known that he was dead. Yeah. Remember the assistant said he came back and found him? Right. But he, he's the one who gave him the shots. The well, maybe he gave him the shot and it didn't quite take effect And he's like, bye. And he was like, all right, I'm going to go get some popcorn going. I know how you like your popcorn when you're fresh out the jacuzzi. Right. And, and then when he came back and he was like, by the way, did you want the butter one or the, oh, and then. Well, and of course, we know for a fact, anyone on ketamine, they want your kettle corn. Hey. Yes. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. Apologies for the late episodes this week. I'm just under the weather. Also, a new n- news flash, news flash for you. Um, September, that first week of September, I'm working for the United States government. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're I'm, going? I'm going to Slovenia. Dirty dog. Oh, man. Yep. 
I've been undercover for the United States government this whole time, these past fucking 12 years. Wow. So what are you going to, you're going to go like I'm gonna report? Talk about, I'm going to do 45 minutes talking about the power of podcasting. Oh, that's beautiful, man. <laughs> I love that. The power yeah. of podcasting. In no way is it a waste of taxpayer dollars. <laughs> I have been getting my strength from podcasting oh. because there's power in it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, everyone. Thank you for listening. Hail yourself. We'll talk to you soon.